is. We're going to just go off and head off into this fort, this lovely fort of fortitude. And if you guys like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe to the channel. Again, I have no clue what these people want. Isn't that... It's... a freight train from Rehard? Looks like it's carrying tanks. Pretty heavily armored ones at that. Those are the latest models from the Reinford Company. They're called Oxen. Why does he look so stern? Ow. Come on. We have things to do. Gosh, why does he have to be so... Ugh. I feel like he's probably disturbed by something. Either disturbed or amazed, because he's not telling us anything. He's right, though. We really should keep moving. Yeah. Mm. Can I, like, slash those open right quick? there wait aren't those uniforms i'm so glad they got their own uh, voices because i was about to speak too we're members of thor's military academy class seven we completed a monster extermination task on your behalf and have come to give our report oh so you're the ones we've been expecting you you'll forgive my curtness I just didn't think you'd have someone so young with you as well <laughs> Um, so, we were able to defeat the monster in question. Do you require a written report, or is verbal confirmation okay? Oh no, that's fine. You were really able to beat that thing, though? Somehow or another, yes. It wasn't easy, but we managed. Huh, not bad. Not bad at all. We probably should have taken care of it ourselves, but it was a pretty dexterous thing, so we just kind of let it be. It wasn't tough enough to cause any of us any harm, as long as we were in our armored cars when we encountered it. But still, it took a bit of convincing for us to ask a group of students to fight it, as you might imagine. I can understand that. <laughs> well, it provided a good opportunity for us to test our skills. Wait for huh? it. Wait. Aha, there it goes. They never notice him at first, but when they do, they just freak out. Lord uses. What brings you? Ah, th that uniform. Are you? Correct. I've returned to Bereahard as part of a field study for the Academy. I'm here as a student, not as a member of the Alborea household. Please treat me accordingly, the same as you would my classmates. Uh, as you wish. As you wish, Lord Eusis. Wow. <laughs> They're like, wow, okay. Looks like even the provincial army will miss a chance to bend over backwards for him. I would like to know, however, I mean, about the contents of that train that just passed by here. I mean, his family like pays the checks probably for the military, so <laughs> so I, I would bend bad for the guy that was like paying for all this crap. <laughs> huh? You saw it? Our provincial army has finally started getting supplied with tanks. Isn't it exciting? Armored cars can't hope to compete with tanks in terms of firepower, after all. And we can't let the Imperial Army be stronger than us forever. His face is like, uh... The fort also appears to have been fortified quite significantly. Ah, yes. Some rather sizable construction work was carried out just last month. It'll take more than a little cannon fire to damage these walls now. Our anti-air defenses are going to be strengthened in the near future, too. This should soon become a fort we soldiers of the Kreutzen province can truly be proud of. You can count on that. I will. And with that, I believe we are done here. We should take our leave. Okay. It is almost evening, after all. Roger that. 
Nay, you can see he's got that face like he really wants to say something, but he's like, should I? Yay! Ooh, that spark arrow. Wait, can I go inside the building? Oh, I can't go inside. Yes! I would love to rest and buy things. This one. Just one. Oh, thank you. Thank you for this nice inn. I can rest and heal. I swear, if, those, if that same monster is still waiting for me, it's gonna be quite a bit of a hassle to go all the way back here and give these reach. <laughs> the, that's a rich, these rich Wait. bastards. Some bad salts, and they better be happy about them too. What is the meaning of this? See, I knew Marcus would say something. He's had, he he could not hold it in for the life of him. He just like, I had to say something. Marcus, <sighs> if we were on the border with Crossbell or the Republic, maybe I could understand. But why does the provincial army here need state-of-the-art tanks? Not to mention anti-air defenses and countless other fortifications. I know, so, something's going on. Because even he was like, what's with all these improvements and modifications? What's going on? He's... Yusuf is smelling the BS right now. He, he's definitely smelling it, but he doesn't know where it's coming from. So that's why he's like, being silent about it. But you know, Machias can't freaking keep his trap shut. It's utter madness! Machias... He makes a good point. Can you truly be so ignorant? This is the reality of the present situation within the Empire. Tensions between Osborne's reformist faction and our noble faction grow worse by the day. Though admittedly, it's been happening mostly under the surface, away from the eyes of the general populace. But this is just one of the many ways that conflict is manifesting itself. Oh, uh, so both... The nobles and the no, uh, the nobles and the uh, common folk, they're they're gearing up to like fight each other. Everyone's just waiting for that one moment. They just go at each other's throats. I'd heard rumors, but no doubt my father was the one who ordered these fortifications. I have no intention of giving any comments of my own on his decision. But if you wish to lodge a complaint, I'm quite happy to listen. So, no, it's fine. The sun's going down. We should get back to Berehart. Yeah. Let's go then. Please don't be here lying in wait for me. I will be truly upset if you are. Fuck my life. You are really there. A dangerous foe. Stay on guard. Yee. Hoping not to run into you. I think you're by yourself this time, though. Ow. The pain. Okay. Okay, what hurts you again? I've completely forgotten. Fire and earth. I don't got any earth. Chrono drive. Speeds the flow of time for all target allies. Okay. Very well. No, no, no. I need you to, like, heal everybody. Yeah. 
thought that barely did anything. Very well. Marcus, activate! Very well. Arcus, activate! Okay! Analyzing the enemy's vitals. I've got it! This is bad. Here we go. Leave it to me! to waste.
Well, now that that's over and done with, let us continue on our journey. Wrong way. Okay. What is that? <gasps> that sounds like a siren. Oh, I have not said anything at all. Hold on. What in the world? Um, okay. Oh, there's a little girl in it. They're like, okay. What, what was that? Are birds like that common around here? Imbecile, that was no bird. Looks like someone was riding on it. Yeah, I think it was a child actually. What? Are you certain? Going by build, yeah. I don't I didn't get a good look at the face, so I can't be 100 percent sure, but I think so. Unbelievable. Now they're trying to chase after it. They're like, no! Lord Hussus, we were... Were you on your way back to Bernhard? What is all the commotion? What is the meaning of that siren? Well, well, you see, moments ago, we became aware of intruder in Archer's fort. You, you don't mean... The silver thing that flew past us? You saw it? Which direction did it go? It flew off to the southwest mere moments ago. At a rather significant speed. Damn, if you please excuse us. Do take care, Lord Eusis. Oh, so we've been staying there for a hot minute? They won't catch it. Yeah, not as fast as it was going. And it's doing air travel. <laughs> that thing is gone. It does seem unlikely, but what could that have been, though? That's a very good question. What's capable of flying that's not an airship? I've never heard of any flying device besides one. This is a matter for the army. We should trust in them to handle it. We're students visiting here for our studies. We're under no obligation to, to do the provincial army's job for them. Besides, which we have our hands full with our own tasks. Well, that is true, but what do you want to do, Makis? Chase after it? If they can't even catch it, there ain't no way we are gonna catch it. It would do no harm to mention this incident in our report. It is noteworthy after all. Yeah. On another note, my shoulder seems to have healed completely. I feel ready to join the front line. Finally! Bring back best boy. Are you certain? I find it hard to believe such a significant injury would heal so quickly. You have some kind of alien consolation? I'm pretty sure I don't. I think Emma's grandma's medicine was just really effective. Hey, yes, that must be it. No magic at all. <laughs> I'm just glad you're all right. Reen can now be placed in the active battle party once more. Finally, if you wish to send this leader, place him back into the party. Yes, I will. I will right. definitely do Very that. Bring well. that best boy. Okay. Okay. Leave it to me. Very well. My turn. Well, how it's come he's not showing up? Oh, wait. I think I actually have to go inside the party and, like, change up who the leader is going to be. There we go. Link. I still can't set a link between these two. This is ridiculous. Best boy, yay! Then let us continue on to our journey. I swear to God, I just keep thinking to myself if I get a whole bunch of lip from these rich nobles. I felt anything about these bad salts. I'm gonna be so upset. 
I would just be looking at him like, you know what? I know you're about to turn or walk or something. Oh god, we're almost there. Almost there. We're finally back. I know, it was quite a journey. <sighs> My feet are killing me. Well, that's what you get for wearing heels. Just about sundown. I guess that means our field study activities are done for the day. Thank goodness for that. I'm exhausted. And I'm starving. What are you looking for? Whatever that strange flying object was, it doesn't seem to have come anywhere near the main thoroughfare. Thur thoroughfare. Oh my god, I'm butchering these words. At least. Fortunately not. The city wouldn't be this calm if it had. True, if you saw it just flying by, you just looked up, you just saw that, you'd be like, what in the... Yeah, it's probably long gone by now. We should head back to the hotel before it gets dark. There's a lot to put in our daily reports today, after all. Indeed. We can figure out how best to summarize the day's events over dinner. Now, where are these... These uh, Richie's at. Oh, wait, no. Let me go and buy some things right quick. Because we got money to spare. And I probably need as many as I can get. Uh, we definitely need more money in our pocket. your bad salts fresh from the canyon oh lord uses might I assume that you've that's correct here thank you very much allow me to hand this over as a reward then oh, silver hourglass refusing to accept it would be rather rude I suppose so thank you very much my apologies for our rudeness earlier it's kind of amazing how much their attitudes change for uses well, there's no denying the influence his family holds here. We're gonna head down to the little marketplace for a second. I just want to go ahead and uh, get some more money. Probably get some more items for myself right quick. I can just go ahead and uh, chillax in my comfortable bed in this nice fine hotel. And let's see what happens after. Because I think I went ahead and I beat all the missions they gave me. I'm pretty sure I got them all. Yep, I did all of them. So there should be no reason that I get a low grade. End the day, school study, return to the hotel. Yes. Who's honking at us? Is it his older brother? The smooth. <gasps> no, it's his father. Huh? What? I'm terribly sorry for not coming to greet you, Father. Although I hear but for a short time, I used to have returned to enough. Duke Algrea. As I informed you, sis, you may do as you wish while you're here. However, you will do nothing that brings shame upon myself nor upon the other name. Please be ever mindful of your position and what you represent. Did you hear nothing but bad things? Is this why you're telling me this? You couldn't just say, hi, son, how are your studies? 
Yes, Father. Um, would it be too much to ask for you to introduce yourself to my classmates? I have no time for pleasantries. Should I require anything of you, you will be contacted. Okay, you asshole. What was that all about? Fee, that's not really... That was the... Oh, I'm sorry. That was the almighty Duke Alvarez, was it? The head of the one of the four great houses and the man in charge of this entire province. Indeed. And by some tr strange twist of fate, my father as well. Useless? I've spoken at her. Forget what I said. He does not like his dad at all. He's like, somehow this man is my father. I don't know how that happened, but uh, yeah. Dang, he does not like him at all. Today's work has made me hungry. Shall we return to our rooms and find something to eat? That sounds good to me. I'm starving. At this point, Reen and the others returned to their rooms for a much needed shower. Then after a short rest, they headed to a restaurant in the Central Plaza for dinner. Ah, look at this wondrous view. Breeze here feels wonderful. <laughs> the food was delicious too. Agreed. I can see why this restaurant is popular with the nobles. Do you dine here often, Yusis? I do. The chef has been good to me since I was a child. I was practically raised on this food. How typical. Even in your dining habits, you nobles subsist on unnecessary luxury. Though I can't deny the quality of the food. It wasn't just tasty, but warm, too. Yes, for a high-class restaurant, the chef seems to have used a lot of very healthy ingredients. Perhaps he's doing his part to ensure Yusa stays in good health. I wouldn't doubt it. I, I wonder what Group B is doing right now. We had this exact same conversation in our group last month, too. I'm sure they're hard at work over in St. Ark. Probably nothing to worry about. It was Celtic for you last month, right? So you were thinking of us on the first night? Yeah. After dinner, we were wondering how Group B was getting on. Dare I ask? Uh, well... <laughs> they were probably fighting the whole time. We near as peacefully as now. This is a big improvement. I... kind of figured that much. We are doing much better this time. That much is true. Huh? And I'm sure our reports will reflect that. It is an improvement, though I'm not convinced it's good enough. It... it's not? I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today. But can we honestly say the same? That we could have done no better? And I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks as well. Hmm. We'll just have to try and make up for it in the day we have left. Besides, we have the chance to catch sight of a far bigger problem. Yes, that's true. First we find out taxes are rising throughout the province. Then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it. But you're only looking at one side of the coin. Very true. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? Well... A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. This nation has one of the most powerful armed forces on the continent and roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? So you're suggesting that's why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides are comprised of Erebonians, it all seems so wasteful. Also very true. Why can't we all just get along? Oh, 
the travails of youth. How noble and God, beautiful him again. they are. It's you. Baron Blue Blanc, I believe. Ha <laughs> ha! It's such an honor that you would remember a mere Baron. Now nah, you're stuck with Baron, who you are. completed a hard day's work already. How splendid! Yes, nearly. What about you? Alas, I have yet to be blessed with the fateful encounter I seek. The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles, yet that is precisely what makes it all so beautiful. Oh my god, he did the hair from there. <laughs> He's got sparkles! Well, I, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. <laughs> I most certainly will. Though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with the scent of steel. <laughs> oh, he knows. I'd heard that Duke Alborea was a man of many interests, but I was unaware he counted playing with fire among them. I don't condemn him for it, though, for only by playing with fire can one create fireworks. Would you not agree, my friends? I don't like your implications. And I think this whole line of conversation is a little inappropriate. Oh, please do pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end. Be it the lovely luster of success or the sad splendor of failure. <sighs> Who does he think he is? This is why I can't stand nobles. <laughs> I thought you might say that. Yeah, he says the same thing over and over and over. If it makes you feel better, though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. What? His behavior seems so exaggerated. Almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble. Like he's fulfilling the stereotype. Yeah, something about him feels off to me, too. But what's even stranger... ...is that he knew we only have one day left here. Oh, we didn't tell him that. We didn't even tell him why we were even here. We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Oh, that's very true. So we did tell him the field study, but we didn't tell him how long the field study Between was. Between him and that silver object, we've been crossing paths with a lot of strange people today. Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. That's right. We have to do our group proud. <laughs> exactly. We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then. What's happening now? Or are we just getting a nice view? Okay, it's just a nice view. Okay. Got scared for a little moment. <sighs> Can't get to sleep. I could ask you the same. You aren't going to tell me the bed's too hard for you, are you? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I've never slept in a bed this high class in my life. Not even back at home. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah. That's just how my dad is. A lord should live like his people, not above them. That's how he always put it. I see. 
Mm, his dad, uh, uh Yusuf's dad might, uh, disagree. It sounds as though you have a good family. Yeah, I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Aren't you going to ask? <gasps> the music changed. Are they about to have a moment? I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. Y yeah, your dad didn't give two fucks about you. I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along really well with your brother, but I didn't get that same sense with the Duke. Has he always been like that? As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for a son born to a commoner. Wait, what? Hold on. Let me reread this. I suppose he just has little respect for a son born to a commoner. So is... So is his mom a commoner? And that's why the father doesn't like like that his dad doesn't like him that what? much? His face is wait, what? Wait a minute. My brother and I have different mothers. Dang. So they're stepbrothers. He was born of my father's legal wife, a noble who still lives to this day. My own mother, however, was a commoner, and she passed away eight years ago. Ah, so he's that, uh, he said that, I don't know if they were, I'm gonna just assume if, I don't know if they were divorced by, by the time he was born or not, but if he wasn't, he was probably that, that fling child, that happy accident child, ooh. Ah, poor Lucy. In other words, I am his bastard son. Mm. I had no idea. So, was that chef we met earlier? He's my uncle, on my mother's side. Oh! Perhaps that's why he's always been so good to me. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to treat me as I deserve to be treated, being the son of the Duke. Bet Money Machias is listening to all of this like, oh, oh my god, I never can't knew. Be. I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's no need to be quite so hard on yourself. I suppose you're right. I'm... I'm sure you have your differences, but you do get along with your brother, right? You could say that. He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship, and who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. <laughs> I knew it. Pardon? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. <laughs> I get that a lot. Is your injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly. There's no pain, and the wound's closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. Still, from where I stand, you are something of a danger to yourself. I... am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trapdoor opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. It wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Ah. Ah, oh, that's very true. He went after his wife. In most his wife cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness and sing your praises for it. But to me, it comes across as abnormal, perhaps even twisted. Twisted? Explain. <laughs> I, uh, don't know how to respond to that. I wasn't expecting you to see through me quite so clearly. Well, I owed you as much for having seen through me first. Still, the point stands. 
you need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you. If not for your health and for your reputation, that selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance, after all. I know it can. And you're not the first person to tell me that. What's the point in saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? <laughs> I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Yeah. But for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. If we stay up too late tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow. And that wouldn't be fair to the others. <laughs> I agree. It wouldn't be fair. To the girls, at least. <laughs> I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. Good night, Eusis. Pleasant dreams. I knew he was listening in. I knew it. <laughs> There's no way. He was like, you having a whole conversation next to him. There's no way this man wasn't going to wake up in the middle of it. I bet he's going to change his tune now. He's going to be like, huh, I should probably cut him some slack. I didn't know all this. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. Yes. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Got my rank up. Good. I did all those missions. I it's better get a rank up. Someday. Someday. Here is my envelope lure Rufus entrusted to me. Please take it and study its contents well. Thank you. Much appreciated. If you'll excuse me then, please, should you require anything further, please do not hesitate to let me know. Alright, let's see what my brother's given us for today. Yeah, I'm kind of anxious. Monster... Um... Right, you guys can pause the video and read this if you guys want. Another well-balanced assortment. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Rufus had predicted what happened yesterday from the very start. You're saying he intended to give us the first time look at the problems between the nobles and the commoners? Hmm, if that's true, I'm impressed. His reputation is well earned. Sure does seem that way. I believe that's enough talk about my brother. We have only one day left before we must depart on our return voyage to Trista. We should set as... Eustace Alborea. Oh god. What is it, Machius Regnitz? <laughs> He's like, why are you using my full name? Is he about to change his tune? I will accept no more failures. Today, we will form a combat link. What? As much as I may dislike you, a shame that we were unable to do what every other member of our class has accomplished. Today's monster extermination request seems as good a chance as any to make up for yesterday's failure. What did you say? You really are simple-minded, aren't you? I suppose you overheard our conversation last night and feel some kind of affinity toward me now? <laughs> he already knows what's going on. Nonsense! I did no such thing! I was fast asleep while you yammered on about your family and Reen and... Uh. Machias. <laughs> he just told on himself. That's pretty conclusive. <sighs> Very well. I accept. I'll be happy to show you what a proper combat link looks like. <laughs> we'll see about that. Fortunately, I have more than enough generosity of spirit to endure being paired with an arrogant noble like you. Ah, look at them. The the bromance is blossoming. They're becoming best bros, just like I always predicted. Slowly but surely, they'll get there and they'll be the best of friends. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe today's field study will go more smoothly than yesterday's after all. 
Lord Eusis. Who is this? Arno? What brings you here? I would have expected you to be at my father's side. I'm terribly sorry I could not greet you upon your arrival yesterday. However, I have come today in the capacity of an escort. What? An escort? To where? I'm sure you must be aware that I returned to Bereahard purely as part of a field study for my academy work. But of course, however, His Grace has directly requested that I escort you to the mansion. Okay, either His Grace is his father, or it's the Chancellor himself. So, I would be most appreciative if you'd accompany me without delay. <laughs> the way he said that, most appreciative. Like, please don't make my day hard. Please just come here. I'll be fired if I don't come back without you. Please! I have children to feed. <laughs> father? He showed no signs of desiring my company when we spoke yesterday. I am in no position to question or oppose his orders, merely to obey them. I'm sure you understand. Though while I hesitate to speculate, I do wonder if His Grace may feel some regret regarding his demeanor yesterday. I... but... Go with him. We can attempt to form a combat link another time. We'll be able to handle the morning's tasks just fine on our own. Don't worry about us. You've come all the way back to your hometown. It would be a shame not to visit with your family, right? Agreed. Uh, are you certain? Very well. I'll return this afternoon. And though I will worry as to how you'll fare without me, I know you'll at least give it your best, for what that's worth. <laughs> of course we will. All right. Let's meet back in the hotel lobby around noon. If something comes up, just leave a message at the front desk. Understood. Lead the way, Arno. Gladly, sir. Please excuse us. Well, let's get started. We wouldn't want to give Yusis any further reason to worry, now would we? Huh, certainly not. Still... What? What is it? If you have something to say, just say it. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. She's probably thinking, the worst is over, and it's all thanks to your eavesdropping. <laughs> oh, no. Just stop that! Just stop looking at me like I'm some hapless babe! Rain, you do know I still haven't completely forgiven you for lying, don't you? Are you still hung up on that? And Emma! I hope you're ready to score second in our midterms because I'm not about to lose to you again. But don't even think about giving those exams any less than your very best. I intend to best you when you're in top form. <laughs> you will? And as for you, Fee, I've been wanting to say this for a long time now. Sleeping in class is an affront to our education. You need to start treating classes more seriously. Listen, take proper notes. Raise your hand now and then. And stop covering your ears when I'm talking to you. <laughs> she's very close to you. She's like, nah, I don't feel like being scolded today. I can't hear you. <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do, so how about we get to it? <laughs> right. Yusuf's temporary left the party. No! <laughs> So we lost Eusis for a little while, just a little while. He went to go have some family time. But I wish I could see how that went. Like as we like go off and do things, suddenly he just pans back and goes, Meanwhile, Eusis and the Duke are. <laughs> but it probably won't do that. It'd be really cool, really funny to me at least, if it actually did do that in the middle of the game. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did, then go ahead and give it a like, comment, or even subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!